What's up, guys? It's Brian again from Lake Hicker Scuba and Marina. I've got the Mares Matrix wrist watch style dive computer here, and I'm going to show you just how easy it is to set it up. Um, the first thing that you'll notice about this computer is it does have four buttons, so they're each going to have a little bit different operation. Um, but the good news is on the face of the watch itself or dive computer, it tells you exactly what each button does. The top right one here, this is your up button, your enter button, and your menu button. The bottom right is your pre-dive button, your start and your down button. The top left is your display and compass button, and your bottom left is your uh, backlight and your ICE, or in case of an emergency button. So it's very easy to operate. Now I know in the past I've told you with dive computers, anytime you buy a new one, go ahead and replace the battery. Unfortunately, you're not gonna be able to do that with this model. This is a rechargeable battery in here, and you can get about two weeks of runtime before you need to recharge it if you're not diving a lot. If you're diving a lot, you can go about a week, but then you simply just recharge the battery and you're good to go. Now you'll notice that the main screen um, is kind of an analog digital watch style uh, system here. If you want to change that, you're going to come over to the display button and simply hit it one time and it'll go into a digital screen. Now from the digital screen, there's several different things that we can change on here. Um, and these two buttons on the right are going to change the bottom and the top of the screen. So if I use this top button, currently it's showing the date. I can actually hit the top button. I can have it show whether my alarm's on or off. I can hit the top button again. And of course, it takes that away completely. Here on the bottom is showing my battery indicator to let me know that my battery is good. If I hit this uh, bottom right button, it will actually take that battery indicator away. Or I can hit it again and it will show me a degree, a current temperature degree reading as well. And of course I can go back into battery and I can go right back into date. Or I can simply hit the display and go right back into the uh, digital system as well or the analog digital system. Now on this top left button, this display compass button, if you was to press and hold that, it's automatically gonna go into a compass. Now I want you to watch this digital compass here because after a short period of time, that digital compass is gonna go right back into watch mode. Now, if you're using the digital compass on land as a compass, a lot of you guys have asked, why do I wear a compass on my dive computer? Well, I use it on land a lot. Well, with the matrix, there is a digital compass that you can use on land. However, it does go away after a short period of time. <clears throat> if you come down here to the bottom right button where it says pre-dive, if you was to press and hold that button, it's gonna put it into pre-dive mode. Now, if you come up to your compass button and press and hold, it'll actually put it into the digital compass where it'll actually stay on. So now I can actually use this compass indefinitely and I don't have to constantly put it in compass mode. It'll sit here for minutes and minutes and hours on the end in the compass mode. To back out of it, you just simply go back to your display and you can back completely back out of it. So that's a neat feature built in that you're able to use that compass on land and have it stay in the compass mode as well. So the bottom left button, this is gonna be our backlight. If you was to press and hold it, of course the backlight would actually come on and you could see your uh, computer at night or you can see it anytime you're in limited vis. If you just press it one time, just press and release, it's going to go into the in case of an emergency, which you can actually set up to read whatever you want. I know when I wore the matrix, it had my wife's name and her phone number. So if anything happens to me, my friends know that they can simply just press and hold that and, or uh, press and release it and it would go into it in case of an emergency and they knew who, who to call in case I got hurt or something during a dive. So simply hit the display and you'll back right back out of that. Now if we go into the menu screen over here, we're going to use the top right button. You're just going to simply press and hold on it and it's going to go into the menu. Now at this point, these two buttons are either select or up and down. So if I hit the down button, it's just gonna simply scroll through the menus. If I hit the up button, it's just gonna simply scroll back up. And then of course, if I press and hold, it will actually select. So if I press and hold, I'm currently on mode. You'll see this is where I can change between air, nitrox, and bottom timer. Very simple. To back out, once you've selected what you want, and to select, you just simply press and hold until it locks. And then once to back out, you're just gonna hit this button over here once, it's kind of a back button. Now, if I scroll on down, we can go into settings. So I'll press and hold that. And we're gonna have a set dive, set watch, set compass. And then of course, we're gonna have a system reset as well. If I go into the set dive feature, 
you'll see I can change the backlight setting, the deep stop setting, the P factor if I want to make the computer more liberal or more conservative. I got an altitude setting. I also have a water setting. I can change between fresh water and salt water. I can change the units. Maybe it's an imperial or metric. I can change the fast ascent. I can also change any other alarm that's on the computer itself. And then of course I have a, a reset or an erase desat. So maybe I just made a dive with this. It's got all my uh, saturation into it or all my nitrogen saturation. And now my buddy wants to use it for a dive. Now typically speaking, you wouldn't give your buddy your dive computer because it's got your information in it. However, I can reset the desat information and hand him the computer. And then of course he can safely make a dive with it. And of course, we have a factory reset. That's going to take it back to factory settings straight from Mares. And of course, if you go too far, it just starts right back at the top. Now, to back back out, we're just going to use this top left button. And now we can go into the set watch mode. So I scroll down to there, press and hold. It's going to go into set watch. And I can ch actually change the time, the format, the date. I can set a secondary time. Maybe if you're traveling across uh, different time zones, you can set that. You can change your alarm as well. Uh, that way, if you want to wake up alarm, like I know my computer here, it wakes me up every morning. And of course, we have a sleep mode. So if you're not, if you like the watch style dive computers, however, uh, you don't use it all the time as a wristwatch, you can put it in sleep mode, and it'll actually conserve uh, battery power as well. And of course, you can just turn it off altogether. And then of course, we're all the way back up the top. But just to show you what these screens look like, you just simply press and hold, and then you can go in and actually scroll through and change the time. It's very simple to do, all right? And then you can press and hold. That locks it in, goes over to the next one. And let's say you went too far. Maybe I needed 42 minutes instead of 43 minutes. I can simply hit the, the bottom button, and it scrolls backwards. And I can very easily press and hold there as well. If we go into format, I can set it up for 12 or 24 hour time. If I go into date, we can set that up as well. Now, one thing to note on the date, if you're in 24 hour time, it's actually gonna read international dating. So it's gonna have the day first, then the month, then the year, all right? If you're in 12 hour time, it will have the month first, then the day, then of course the year. So that's something that you, you need to be aware of, all right? And of course, second time alarms, all that, you can set all that up however you want to set it up. If we go down to set compass, we're going to enter that screen there. There's going to be several different things here. Um, the biggest thing here is the calibration. Now, I have a video on how to calibrate the compass, but I'm going to kind of walk you through the procedure really quick. Um, if you press and hold on the compass, it'll say rotate 360 degrees. So what you want to do is lay your computer on a flat level surface, and you're going to simply rotate it 360 degrees. And you want to kind of go slow with this, making sure it stays level. Now, once you've rotated it 360 degrees, you can actually go into uh, the enter mode again, simply back out. Your compass is calibrated. It is a uh, kind of a, a tilt compensating compass, so you don't always have to hold it level when you're using it. But that, that feature right there is very important that you set up your compass. If you just take it out here and try to use, it's not going to be calibrated. It's not going to be accurate. I would probably suggest doing that every time you charged it if you plan on using it. Uh, it is very easy to do here on land, um, but before a dive, I might would calibrate it. You saw it didn't take very long whatsoever. So that's a neat little feature built in that you can make sure that your compass is always calibrated. Going back in, we will go to, um, we'll scroll on down to logbook. Now with your logbook, there's not going to be any logs currently in this com uh, computer. It's a brand new computer, but all your logs would be uh, shown on the screen there. If you press and hold, it'll go into the individual uh, dives itself and all the statistics of that. And we can simply just back back out of that. We can go into plan mode, so just press and hold there. And this is where we can plan. Now this is currently set up in uh, metric, but if it was set up in imperial, you would see uh, feet versus uh, meters. But you can just simply scroll through it and it'll tell you how long you can stay based off are you using air, or nitrox, anything like that. And you can just simply scroll all through it as well. 
And if we go down to info, you can simply press and hold. This is going to give you the serial number and all that of your computer as well. And that's pretty much it for the menu screen as well. Um, if I back completely back out of here, the ice mode, the in case of an emergency mode, um, the only thing that you're going to have to do to set that up, the computer does come with a uh, charging port, uh, which is also your download cable. You're going to have to actually go on your computer, your home computer, to change the in case of an emergency. That's not something that you can actually change here on the screen. So once you've got that set, in your computer you simply just download it through the charging cable and you're good to go but guys that's it that's how you set up the mares matrix it's very easy to do the extra buttons makes it very easy once you understand what each one does and the good news is everything is displayed on the screen to kind of let you know what each button does but guys if you like this video simply smash that like button for me and definitely share it as well if you got any questions on this model please put it down in the comment section below and i'll try to answer it the best i can uh, but guys as always make sure you follow us on instagram and twitter like us on facebook pin us on pinterest subscribe to us here on youtube and as always guys we appreciate your business Guys, we really appreciate you watching our videos. If you liked it, make sure to give us a big thumbs up. If you're not a subscriber, simply hit that subscriber button for us and make sure you hit the little bell to turn on all notifications. If you want to see some other cool videos, make sure to click these links here. They could be scuba tips, they could be diving videos, search and recovery videos, or gear reviews. Once again, guys, we really appreciate it.